All right, I'm going to show you three things. And the first is using our Nintendo controller hooked up to an Arduino and reading in those values of the button and remapping those buttons to invoke a keystroke of our choice. That will allow us to you know, play flash games, things like that. Um, then you can also, the second demo I'm going to show is using the directional pad to control the position of our mouse and then using A and B for left and right click. Um, then last, um, we're going to use a accelerometer on our little mini breadboard. There's the accelerometer. And then we're going to read in the values of the tilt to move our mouse position. And then I added a little push button to detect um, a left click so that we can click as well. Okay, so my first demo, I'm going to show you um, a flash game being played with a Nintendo controller hooked up to an Arduino which reads in the values and then I'm mapping those values to invoke a keystroke um, on as if we pressed it on our keyboard and I'm doing that through a program I wrote in processing and I use some Java classes as well if you want to know more about that you can message me um, so what I did is Redbeard you control them with the arrow keys on your keyboard so I map the directional pad to the arrow keys, and then I believe you jump with space, so I map the um, A to be the space bar. And you can see when we play here, it works pretty well. Whoops. And all I did to get this um, larger screen of Redbeard is when I play games on Miniclip, I like to go to the page source and then just look for the .swf file, the Flash movie. And then once I have that, I actually go to that URL in a browser. And that will play just the Flash movie on its own without all the other ads and whatnot, and it, of course it's at a larger scale. Alright, I'm doing really bad here, so I'm going to stop it there. Um, <laughs> um, the next example is we're going to, instead of using the buttons as keystrokes, we're going to control the mouse position with the directional pad, and then um, left and right click with A and B. Okay, so... This time, instead of mapping the Nintendo controls to keystrokes, I'm actually using them as um, to control the mouse with the directional pad. And then uh, left click. And you can see you can do right click too. Um, And one example of what you can do with it is now you can play flash games that require the mouse instead of the keypad. And that's about it. Alright, so the last thing I'm going to show is controlling the mouse position using a um, accelerometer and a uh, push button so I can tilt it and move the mouse direction and press the button to click so you can 
mouse here. As I tilt it, you can see the mouse moving on there. And then it works pretty well. Um, then, of course, if you click the button, when you press the button, it acts as a click. Um, and I'm holding it down while I'm tilting, so it's like a click and drag and allows me to move things around. And that's pretty much it. I'm just reading in the values of the X and Y, and if it's over a certain level, then I invoke a, um, a, a mouse movement of so many pixels. Um, what I'd like to do next is actually have this accelerometer on a glove that would be like on the back of my hand so that when I move my hand it moves the the, um, the mouse and then instead of a push button it works okay but instead of a push button it would be cool to wear a glove that actually when I move my hand and then I bend my finger it would actually do a click so then I would actually be able to move my hand in front of the screen and click by using my finger. And then I would just use a a flex sensor over my finger. And when when you bend the flex sensor, it changes the resistance. So then once that value is over a certain level, I would invoke a key press and release. And I hope to do that pretty soon. Um... That's it for now. Like I said, um, send me a message if you have any questions, and I'd be glad to help you out.